you know this is good when you come to uh, uh, one of these places you can look out over and you know what that is don't you there is what's called slide mountain in the Catskills yes it is now, that's what it looks like up here oh yeah that's what it's called the mountains unbelievable isn't it now uh, we're heading over there soon to the Catskills and I'm going to get up on top of that mountain in fact see that mountain right there I got it all zoomed in so you can't zoom anymore once we get on top of that mountain we're going to walk over to that mountain there guess what that one's called Tabletop Mountain. Yep. The reason why we're going there is because there is no ticks. Lots of ticks right here. Okay, over and out. That is the cat skills from 60 miles away. Ah. Man, you know what that smells like? I mean, a whole stand of pine trees. Yeah, that's what it smells like. There we are, we're going back a mile. Notice how everything's nice and flat. Soon we're gonna to go to the to the uh, steep mountains. And I'm gonna show you some tree line, above tree line, that they have not too far from where I live. And you can go above tree line. Yep. Tree line here is a lot lower because uh, we're, the, we're close to the Atlantic coast and therefore that we get more extreme weather than you do in the Rockies so our tree line starts at like 4,000 feet yep and this dog here at 12 years old you can see she wants nothing to do with uh, me she wants to hike and uh, you can see her butt she pulled all the hair out of her butt she's frustrated Now she's going to pee. See, now if she don't like that. See, if she pulled all her hair out of her butt. She started to. You don't take this dog. Like, uh, you get one that's not 12 years old, and you don't take it for a 20-mile run every day. Oh, ho you wouldn't believe it. This dog dug a trench in my backyard. It took 10 tons of dirt to fill in. It was all the way up to my waist, approximately 5 feet deep and about seven feet long and I don't know how she disperses the dirt but she just fans it all out all over the grass and she also tore all the siding off my house as high as she could jump and she grabbed it with her teeth and twisted it around and didn't let go until it pulled off yeah so yeah I, I could go on with the stories about this dog but uh, bottom line is the dog wants to be a dog and yeah those look at that there's an anthill <laughs> not too many of them around there's the ants <laughs> yeah you see uh, every place in the United States and probably Canada too is just like that show Manhunter. There's a branch or tree that crashes in the trail that the ranger comes back because if it was an ATV trail you'd see the path war. He's back here just looking to arrest your ass on that ATV. And yeah, they'll track you right back to the car and then they'll arrest you. And then you'll be charged with another crime, a felony, which is called evading. Yep, so you just get in more trouble. You might as well stop right there and let him find you. And then they'll come back here and a tow truck will tow it out, an authorized tow truck. And yeah, you might have like an $800 bill, but you won't get caught with the felony evasion. 
Oh yeah, they'll call out every state cop in this area just to get you on an ATV. So, go ahead and be smart. Yep, and look at that. They have a fun time back here riding their, uh, you know, forest jeeps. Yep, that's all they do. They come back here to check on you. Now we're going to the swamp. This is the intersection to the swamp. Well, there's all sorts of trails. You gotta know them. Okay, see that little orange fence there? It's like a gate that you lift up from the bottom and walk in. And it's all fenced off. It's not an enclosure, it's an exclosure. To keep deer out. So they don't eat all the saplings and the young trees. And look how well that worked. Just so you might want to know that. That is the deer exclosure. And this is where the deer, you know, kill all the trees. <laughs> All they leave is, I mean, huckleberries and uh, fern. I have lots of deer up here. Lots of deer. Mm. Oh, you don't know what this air smells like. Wish we had smell-o-vision. Mm. Oh yeah, and they purposely make these uh, trails like this so ATVs can't cross the bridge. They want you to get hung up in the creek down there, all smashed up and wrecked. So when they tow you out, you not only have to pay a big towing bill and a fine, you look like a jackass when you get pulled away. This is the drainage from the swamp. And you see my dog drinking swamp water? Yeah, isn't that something? Well, that's because she has a tougher gut than we do. She's not a person, she's a dog. He hasn't gotten sick yet. She, uh, if it gets above 80 degrees, she's, uh, we're both out of business. And when it gets up to 85, she'll just lay in that quick and that's it. There's no getting her out. When you try to grab her, she'll snarl at you. There's no uh, telling her what to do. She wants to go backpacking and she wants to wear those packs because that's what she wants to do and it gives her pride. That's like saying, uh, having a horse and walking your horse around without riding it, you know? Well, there's a lot of those people too, but uh, I'm not into that. These dogs aren't happy unless they're athletes, you know? Simple as that. And uh, also, a dog is only as good as its feet. She has very tough feet. She can walk on rocks all day. But if you start her out on this uh, hiking stuff, I started out with just newspapers in her pack. So she got used to it, because she smashes on every tree with them, obviously, you know. She can't, she doesn't have the feel of them. But actually, we went past the swamp. This is the drainage, where it drains. And this bridge has been here as long as I can remember. And it's still holding. Yep. But uh, we're going to turn back.